and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about an applicant's overall grooming for assessment days and open days. Before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so I can make more videos every week. Look at the picture of the cabin crews. They look professional and well put together. Your goal here is to give the recruiters the mental image of you as a cabin crew. Maintaining a high grooming standard is crucial in this role, as image plays a significant role in being a cabin crew. So, let's start with the hair. For women, neatly tied hair in a low bun with a side part. Tuck away your baby hairs and your bangs fringe with a hairpin. No ponytails or messy hairstyles allowed. If you have short hair, a blunt or box bob haircut like the photo is fine. Make sure your hair doesn't touch the back of the collar of your blazer. Pin your front hair behind your ears. If you have hair color, make sure the color is close to your natural hair color. Braids are allowed. Permanent hair extensions and wigs are okay for as long as it is installed properly and it looks good when you put your hair in a bun. Here are the stuff you need for your hair. For men, hair must be a clean cut, not more than 5 cm. Sideburns must be until the middle of the ears. It must be styled properly, like the one in the photo. Use a matte finish hair product. Next for the face, women must wear a full face of makeup. Eyebrows must be groomed. Conceal your acne and acne marks really well. Eyelash extensions and false lashes are not allowed for Qatar Airways. Do not wear colorful makeup and most of all, do not come to the interview without makeup. Here are the list of products you need. Here are the lipstick colors that I recommend you use for each airline. Now, for men, you must be clean-shaven if you are applying for Qatar Airways and Emirates. For Etihad, you can have a mustache and or a beard, but it must be short and well-groomed. Moisturize your face and lips. Men are not allowed to use makeup, so don't try to conceal any marks with makeup. Here are the list of products you need. For men and women, if I am being honest, it would better to use a clear contact lens. Colored contact lenses are not allowed. If you prefer to wear glasses, opt for a plain single colored glasses, preferably black or brown. No prints or colorful designs. Not too big or too small. No rhinestones. No tint on the glass. If you are colorblind or have a lazy eye, you will get rejected. So, don't waste your time. Get it fixed and then start applying. Now let's talk about teeth. You must have a presentable smile. Braces are okay, but you have to inform the recruiters the exact date of removal. Small natural gaps are acceptable. A massive gap or multiple gaps is not allowed. A slight crooked teeth is okay. Extreme case of crooked teeth, however, is not allowed. Staining and plaque must be removed because it shows poor hygiene. Do not wear your clear aligners to the interview. Here's a tip for those with a large chip tooth or wider gaps. Composite bonding is a cheap and quick solution. Moving on to your nails, for women. Hands must be moisturized. Nails must be short, clean, and must have a plain nail polish. I listed below the nail colors you should wear for each airline. For men, maintain moisturized hands, short, clean, and polished nails. Regarding jewelry or accessories, women should only wear a single pair of earrings on your earlobes. Please remove any other piercings. For men, piercings are not allowed. All earrings should be removed and ears kept clean. Avoid excessive jewelry. A simple watch suffices. Remove any face or body piercings and avoid bulky or rhinestone studded watches. If you don't have a simple watch, it's better not to wear one at all. Now let's talk about scars and tattoos. You are only permitted to have tattoos on the black areas shown in the photo. Tattoos are not allowed in the white areas irrespective of their size. Do not try to cover tattoos with makeup. For women, microbladed eyebrows are allowed in Etihad and Emirates for as long as they look natural. Scars associated with mental disorders are not conducive to a job that involves ensuring human lives. Get a laser for scar removal. Large scars can be a problem too. I recommend considering laser treatment. Etihad and Emirates are more forgiving regarding small scars. Qatar, however, is the opposite. If the recruiter in Qatar likes you, scars won't be a problem. Do not try to cover scars on your body with makeup. Here is a tip. 
Get a scar camouflage tattoo to cover hypopigmented scars like photo number two. For men, if you have a scar along your beard like photo number three, get a beard micropigmentation tattoo. Let's discuss formal business attire for women. The blazer and skirt should match in color. Black is the preferred choice. Avoid patterns, large logos, and extravagant designs. Make sure to iron your clothes for a neat appearance and ensure they fit well. Avoid wearing brightly colored bras and skirts that are too short or have high slits. Skirts should cover the knees. Choose tights that closely match your skin tone and are free from any rips. Keep your shoes clean, polished, and comfortable. Remember, straps and open-toed shoes are not permitted. For men, the blazer, socks, and trousers should match in color. Black is the preferred choice, although you may also opt for dark blue, dark gray, or dark brown. Avoid patterns, large logos, and extravagant designs. Ensure your clothes are properly ironed and have a proper fit, neither too tight nor too loose. Tie your necktie in a Windsor-style knot. Choose a necktie with a plain or minimal design in classic colors such as black, navy, or burgundy. Coordinate your belt and shoes to be the same color. Keep your socks and shoes clean, polished, and comfortable. Do not use a backpack. Opt for a briefcase or laptop bag instead. That's the end of the video. I hope you find this video helpful and educational. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one.